Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this year we're taking a look at Windows Moon Valley RC3. Now Windows Moon Valley RC3 is an ISO that was recommended to me by one of my viewers, and its goal, from what I understand, is to modernize Windows 11 and make some general quality of life improvements. We've taken a look previously at Rectify 11. Um, I do believe that this, based on what I read, has Rectify 11 built in amongst other features. So I'm very eager to see what this developer's version of Windows 11 looks like and what this really brings to the table compared against other custom ISOs. As we can see, we are booting into a Windows 10 install media, or maybe Windows 11, that's weird. It has the Windows 10 logo, but the Windows 11 loading icon. That's interesting. Um, and first things first, we can see the setup is just crazy. First of all, if you look at the loading circle right here, that is modern. I do like that. I don't necessarily like the gradient of the background here because you can't really see setup is starting, but again, that's such a minor thing, it doesn't even really matter. Um, it's Instead of saying Windows, it says hi there. I feel like that's something that like a Linux distro or Mac OS would do. I just, I just noticed, bind your soul to us, embrace Microsoft. Um, so I'm sure we'll see some you know little quirks like that throughout the OS. But one thing that I am noticing is that, just look how clean this looks. I mean, this even looks better than the new installer that Windows 11 came out with. I really do like this. And we hit next, and we're installing. Again, I still really like this much more than what 24H2 has. I mean, 24H2 was a great improvement over the previous one, but this is just immaculate. And here we are booting up after the install. As we can see, like we saw on the setup screen, Windows 10 logo, but Windows 11 loading bar. I think that was a modification they made. I don't know why. I actually really like the Windows 11 logo, but beyond me why they made that choice, again, up to the developers. And look at that. Look at this. That feels like the Windows 10X startup animation. I might be really wrong. Um, and it actually showed a, a picture of Windows 10 there. Um, this picture is different, at least for the US versions of Windows 11. I mean, this is all different from what we typically see. So that's what we typically see. We see these. Um, but so far, I'm actually very impressed that they were able to get, I mean, we're not even in the desktop yet, and I'm impressed at just the level of granularity that they were able to customize this installer. Um, let's see how far we can get and what our impressions are once we get to the desktop. A thing I just noticed too, look at the cursor. It's not your typical cursor from Windows 11. It has a black border around it. It kind of reminds me of like, I, I want to say Linux Mint or Ubuntu, uh, that cursor theme. Just reminds me of something from Linux. Um, which maybe was the goal. And here we go, we can see that animation once again. I'm um, not sure, okay. Um, it appears like setup just crashed for some reason. Um, I don't know why, that's unique. One thing I am gonna do though is I'm gonna disconnect the NIC because I have had issues with Windows 11 in the past where the NIC um, can cause issues. Uh, like it checks for updates here. Um, yeah, we'll let this run. So I just ended up restarting without the NIC plugged in and I was able to bypass the internet setup. I don't know why, but recently Windows 11 has been terrible with internet setups, like it forces you to spend an hour to update. So yeah, but we were finally able to bypass that. We're now getting into the desktop of Windows Moon Valley RC3. Um, like I said, I'm very eager to see. I mean, the screenshots and what I've seen so far have made, really made a good impression on me. Let's just hope that that good impression lasts all the way into the desktop. So right now we're just getting VMware tools installed so you guys get a better viewing experience. But the first thing I'm going to say is that the developer of this ISO obviously does not like Windows 11. Um, I mean, this is pretty much Windows 10. Um, so I personally like Windows 11, uh, but I know a lot of people don't. Um, hence why we're looking at this. But I'm sure we'll find other little quality of life improvements that will really make us understand why the developer created this OS. And here we are on the desktop. First of all, I really do like this clean and simplistic background. It's just a light blue to dark blue gradient, pretty nice. On the desktop, we have the recycle bin. Did you see the animation? It kind of like came in. I feel like I've seen that in another Linux distro before. We then have the fixer upper, which is a command script. I don't know what it does. What does this do here? gets admin, check for permissions, and then it runs some BCD edit commands. Okay, we're not gonna do that right now. We then have a readme document, um, run fix it, oh, that's what it does. If it, things don't work, 
uh, what's new, um, blah, blah, blah. You can read all this um, if you really want to and certain bugs in the OS. One thing I just noticed uh, is when I right clicked, I mean this, I mean it looks like, again, the Linux uh, context menu, just the fonts, the background. I feel like I've literally seen this in a Linux distribution before. Um, a lot of this really does feel like Linux, which reminds me, I haven't really tried Linux in a long time. Maybe I should do that. Um, let's go down to the Windows 10's taskbar, where we can see on this side we have our Show Desktop button, we have our Action Center, which is the Windows 11 Action Center, we have our Time, wow that really does look like Linux with that font, we have our Volume, with a custom sound that I actually really do like, and a circle instead of a bar. We have Ethernet settings, and then we have, let's see, all of this fun stuff right there that I don't really care about, um, our system tray. On the left side here, we have our Windows Store, Microsoft Edge, the File Explorer, which we'll explore in just a minute. Uh, we have Task View, and Cortana. Obviously, Task View didn't want to work. Maybe fix her up or we'll fix it. Uh, and then we have our Search Bar and our Start Menu. Now our start menu is actually floating if you can't tell it's not attached to the start menu. Uh, rounded corners, floating, um, and all sorts, you know. But it's Windows 10 start menu. Uh, you can see we have all of these apps by default. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary for Windows 11. Um, pretty cool. In File Explorer, we can see that all of the font, or all, well, first of all, the font is different, yes. And we're using a Windows 10 style File Explorer. We don't have the new Windows 11 bar at the top, or the banner, rather. Um, and we have custom icons. I can't tell if I like these icons or not. I don't know if I like the folders being there, but it does bring a nice change. I did notice in the README file that they said they brought back old settings. Yep, they brought back settings from what build was that? 22366. Okay. Uh, like <laughs> they said, poke funnel, I want. I actually really like Windows 11 settings. Obviously, they don't. Um, wow, this is cool. Edition is Windows Moon Valley. 21H2 um, build 22,000.51 is that not the first build of Windows 11? I think it is. Um, overall pretty cool. Let's see Windows Update. Does it work? Windows Update is actually functioning. It is downloading updates. That is pretty cool. I know a lot of custom ISOs don't allow that. Um, I'm trying to see what edition this is actually like what Winver this what edition is this windows pro enterprise it only says moon valley so i really don't know um i'm, gu I'm guessing it's home because i see like your phone and i have also seen the gaming stuff in here and i don't think that comes with windows pro let's take a look at our cpu ram usage and disk usage so out of the box we're using 37.4 well we have 37.4 free out of 59.3 uh, that means we're using just about 12 gigabytes of space a little more a little less um, not bad for Windows. That really looks like a Linux window. Oh my. I'm just getting flashbacks when I used to try Linux all the time. Uh, performance, we're idling 25-16% uh, of the CPU, which is a little more than what we typically see. 10, I mean, Windows likes to bounce around. And then we're using 2.3 out of 8 gigs of RAM. Did you see the animation, how the graphs kind of slide in? I feel like that could get annoying if you're actually like trying to troubleshoot something. But I mean, it's cool for like a little gimmick. With that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows Moon Valley RC3. Definitely interesting build, and I'd be happy to look at it again uh, in the future if you know some things improve, and maybe there's a Windows 11 option where things are more geared towards Windows 11 and things like that. But for now, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.